back at it again. So today's video is going to be on vitamin supplementation for athletes, just for people in general, but mainly for athletes or for people who play sports. So um, just wanted to share this aspect of the game with people who don't know about it. Um, I know guys who are veterans in the game, they take care of their bodies, but when you're a young guy, I know I didn't take care of my body as well as I should have. Really wasn't concerned with making sure I got the right nutrients in my body, make sure I was taking things that helped me perform. And I didn't know there were things that helped me perform better. So it's only right for me to have access to this information and share it with the younger hoopers out there, the younger athletes out there who right now don't know they need these things. But as they get older in their career, and right now I'm 24 years old, and the way I've been playing basketball since I was about eight or nine, playing AAU season after season, continue just non-stop in sports, your body tends to deteriorate a little bit faster if you're an athlete. So it's important that you most definitely uh, treat your body right, make sure your body is your temple, make sure everything's good. So. And I'm not an expert on this stuff, but these are just some of the things that I picked up and I just wanted to share the information. So I'm gonna start off with this one. This is a multivitamin right here. Now everybody should take a multivitamin because in our diets, as people in general, if you're not just a health fanatic, you usually don't get all the nutrients you need for your body to perform at its fullest potential, its full potential. So getting a multivitamin provides all those vitamins, things your body needs throughout the day to help you be productive, for you to have higher energy. Before I was taking this, um, I didn't realize how low my energy was throughout the day. By just taking these every day, I'm starting to feel like rejuvenated. I wake up a little earlier, just little stuff like that, that helps me. So everybody, women, men, get a multivitamin. Next, right here, vitamin C. Now, vitamin C, I take it just to help me, help my immune system, to build my immune system. It prevents you from getting sick if you take a, the right amount of vitamin C. On the back of this one, it has some of the other benefits. Um, helps with your cardiovascular system, all types of stuff like that. but. Mainly, you should take vitamin C just to prevent you from having colds and flus. And when you do get a cold and flu, you'll get over it quicker because, you know, your body has a bunch of vitamin C that can fight that bacteria, fight those things. All right. So vitamin C. Next one. Fish oil. All right. Fish oil. It's a great thing to have. Real cheap at the... You know, pharmacy, go get you a thing of fish oil. Fish oil helps with like just blood circulation in your body, it helps with heart health. Um, it helps even with like you have bad knees, you got, you got, you know, you just get achy joints and stuff like that. It helps soothe your joints. So, taking fish oil definitely it should be part of your regimen. And, uh, la nope, not the last, but. Next, this is the one, glucosamine. All my basketball players, you must get this. Shout out to my guy, Devin Scott, for putting me on game about a year ago about glucosamine. Uh, about a year ago, I was just having knee, knee pain, and uh, I was talking to my dude Dev about it, and he was just like, yo, you gotta get on that glucosamine. Guess, uh, Somebody told him about it. He shared the information with me, so now I'm sharing it with you. But glucosamine helps with joint pain. So say you are an athlete, a basketball player, and you jump a lot. You're doing a lot of jumping. You've been doing jumping all these years, and finally it's caught up with you. And for me, 20, I was 23 years old, and I couldn't go in the gym. And I had to stretch for like about an hour before I could even play. I mean, I couldn't get off the floor. My knees were hurting every time I stepped on the floor. 
it was I was filming it through college, all that, and I'm just like, dang, my knees are just bad. I kind of just accepted it for what it was, but in reality, I didn't know there was a solution to it. The solution is glucosamine. It just helps relieve pain in your joints, relieve stress in your joints. And I mean, at this moment, like now, 24, about to be 25, like my legs feel fresh. I can go in the gym, stretch about 20 minutes. I'm moving. I don't really get knee knee pain or joint pain, stuff like that. And this is the main reason for that. So I've been taking these for about six months now. And initially, like it's not a, a one pill fix. It's not like the first time you take it, you're gonna be like, dang, I feel better. It's something that you gotta take gradually over time. And you know, as you continue to take it, your body can use it better and you know your joints will start feeling better in time. But you know, you gotta keep with all these vitamins, you gotta make sure that you constantly taking them you can't it's not a one-time solution with this it's an everyday thing you gotta be persistent with it for the for you to achieve lasting effects and it's worth it i'm telling you it's worth it we wouldn't be on here talking if it wasn't worth it all right now last thing i want to share with you people apple cider vinegar this is the magic right here <laughs> you need to take some of this every day it just helps with everything. I mean, literally everything. You need apple cider vinegar in your life. Like, just helps with the acidity in your body. Like, for those who don't know, like cancer and things like that, diseases are built when your body is too acidic. That's what happens. So, when you're taking apple cider vinegar, it reduces the acidity in your body, so you are less likely to develop any type of you know fungus and things like that it kills bacteria in your body helps with your digestive system you know breaks up bacteria antifungal like even say you got bad breath or something like that take some of that apple cider vinegar it kills the bacteria in your mouth i mean it just helps literally with everything so make sure you get on your stuff one thing you need to know about apple cider vinegar though it's nasty, so make sure you get some water. What's up, man? Put a little bit in there. Mix it up. It's nasty, but it's worth it. You take it, if you take this straight up, don't burn your throat. Don't do that. I tried that, don't do it. So, that's all I really have for today. Just wanted to share some wisdom uh, for the young athletes out there, even for the older athletes. Some people really don't know about this stuff, so it wouldn't be right for me to have a platform and not share it. Um, I'm not an expert on stuff, but it helps me. I can tell you firsthand that it helps me. So anyway, that's all I got today. I'm out.